Hi guys, it's Rihanna the Math Person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 118 on SL exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, I assume you're attempted it. Let's just dive right in. So they say find a marginal density function of y. So we know by definition is just negative infinity to infinity of f of x y in integrating terms of d x. Okay, so let me actually actually <laughs> graph this picture first. So this is y equals x, right? And this is like y equals x squared. And if we're integrating in terms of x, that means we're actually integrating this way, right? x. So then the lower bound or the lower infinity is going to be this line here, this blue here, which is going to be in terms of dx is going to be y. Do you agree? The lower line y equals x. And then the upper limit is going to be this side here. So it's going to be this line here. So solving this in terms of y, you get this is equal to the square root of y is equal to x. And you know that this is going to be the positive y, not the negative square root of y, because it's on the first quadrant. So then knowing that, this is going to be square root of y for the upper bounds. f of x, y is given as 15y, and we're integrating in terms of t dx. And this is true for y is equal to what values? It's true for y is equal to from 0 to 1, right? Because if so integrating this thing here, you get y is equal to y times x, integrating the x from y to square root of y. So 15y is just a constant here. So you get square root of y minus y. And we can actually factor out 1 half out. So 15y, 1, 3 halves. And then when you factor out 1 half out, this just becomes 1 minus y to the 1 half. And we know that y exists between 0 and 1. And you might be wondering, why is it not this one? Well, the thing is, we already integrated in terms of dx. So then we already took care of like the x squared and root x. By doing it twice, it's kind of redundant. And it's and let's say you're like finding, like let's say, like expectation of x first, for example, and you're integrating in terms of dx first. Then you would indeed say this is y to square root of y. But then because we already took care of this, we will just talk about what is y equal to and y is going from 0 to 1. So then by that by that definition and by solving this out, we know that this has to be our answer E. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!